Hey everybody, welcome back to Will It Run. Today we're looking at Ninja Baseball Batman for the arcade. This was requested by a few people. Persona user Mike, Tim McAndrew, Travis is Win, Untouchable Sin, Kiwi Stream, Smo G, Mr. Tangle vs. the World, CJ Bennett, Rusty, Neil Dar, Joy David Jr., Merrick Kak... Oh, killing me. Merrick Kakpers... Kaperzak? Kak... Kak... Perzak. Merrick Kaperzak. David Jiltonen, Diamond Long Plays, James85, Jeremy Trent, Peter Gomer, Trans King Formers, Patricia Jacobs, Chris Santiago, Josh, Yo Soy Sauce, and by none other than the illustrious Door. So this seems to be a pretty popular game. It was developed and published by IRIM, only released for the arcade. There are no home releases for this game. The program we're using to get this to run on the NES, SNES, and Genesis Mini is HackGCE. And for the PlayStation Classic, AutoBleam with Retroboot. You will need a modded system to get this working, so I will have my tutorials in my description for you to follow. Starting with the NES, SNES, and Genesis Mini, you want to open up HackGCE, go to your Modules tab, and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go into the KMFD RetroArch tab and download one of the versions of RetroArch Extreme, either the Ozone theme, RGUI theme, or XMB theme. Just hit the Download Module button. Once that's complete, go to the KMFD Cores tab. The core we're going to use to get this to run is MAME 2003 Extreme. It comes from the MAME 0.78 ROM set. It's very important you get your game from that ROM set. It is the ROM set that is most compatible with MAME 2003. Once again, hit download module, then you can close the mod hub. Go back to your modules tab, install extra modules. Put a check mark next to MAME 2003 Extreme and next to RetroArch if you haven't installed that already. Then hit OK. After those are installed, you can take your game and drag it directly into HackG. You'll be shown a file system right here. Just click Import as Archive. On the next screen, highlight your game. Under Console, click Unassigned. And under the Core, click MAME 2003 Extreme and you can see the notation that it's using the 0.78 ROM set. Click Apply, then Close. I'm going to change the name and add some box art real quick. The last step is to hit this Synchronize button to transfer the game from your PC to your Mini or export to USB if you're using a flash drive. For the PlayStation Classic users, you want to make sure that your flash drive is formatted to FAT32 and labeled Sony. So right-click your flash drive, click Format. This is where FAT32 is selected. Type in Sony in all capitals under Volume Label, make sure Quick Format is selected, then hit Start. When adding your game to the AutoBleam folders, make sure that you are not using this Games folder here, that is for PS1 games only. You want this ROMs folder. Drag your game into the ROMs folder, you're going to take all the files in this folder and copy, and then paste them into your Sony drive. So your flash drive will look like this with all the folders on the root, and in your ROMs folder, is our game. You're going to safely remove the flash drive from your PC and insert it into the PlayStation Classic. This game used to not run well at all until KMFD changed his cores so it runs pretty well now. Definitely playable. And that's why it's taken me so long to cover this game on Will It Run. It just didn't work before. So no wheel of chance this time. I'm going to show you guys how this runs on the SNES, Genesis, and PlayStation. When the game first starts up, you will get this notification that it doesn't run perfectly. Just hit left, then right on the controller.
Right, so as you can see, that first part kind of started a little bit with all systems, but the PlayStation Classic runs this game perfect. And you even had some issues with the Genesis with Overclock, but watch this. We're going to pick our, our beefy guy, Roger, here. Still got the slowdown, and we're going to have a little bit more one more time right here. But it immediately speeds up, and let's check out some gameplay. Listen to the music, you won't hear any stuttering. If you want perfect gameplay out of Ninja Baseball Batman, you want to be playing it on the PlayStation Classic. It runs pretty good on the other systems, way better than it did at the beginning. It is playable, but I mean, it is like perfect on here. Uh, I find a lot of, this, this is an odd game. You know, we're fighting baseballs with a baseball bat. It's kind of ironic. You know I always like the heavy hitters, and the heavy hitters like their stake. So we got some life up now to break this door down. There we go. One hit, no problem. Good job, Roger. Little punk rocker ball over here with some wrenches. Something I really like about this game is when you attack, pieces of the enemies actually fly off. And it's not just cosmetic, they, it actually flies off the enemies. Oh, we have gloves now. That's cool. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, out of the park. This is a really, what's going on? What's going, oh, we have an umpire or a catcher throwing his armor. That's not safe. Won't be an issue for Roger though. Wait, what was that behind the armor? Hold on, look at a creepy skull. Oh no, it's a little dude. Okay, what is with this guy? Hold on, can I, there we go. Just grab him. Forget all that other mess. Oh, now you got no armor. What are you going to do? Hold on to nothing. Well, except give me the big claw. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe he's related to Major Big Arm. Oh, what? I think I just got run over by an airplane. Now I'm in an airplane. Okay, so yeah, this game is definitely quirky. Now I'm fighting bats with a bat. What am I? Am I just a robot? I must be a robot. A ninja robot. This is so weird. We got... What is this? Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm fighting an airplane in an airplane. Yeah, keep an eye on the airplane throughout this fight because you're going to see pieces fly off of them and they actually stay off. I'm going to grab this pink, whatever this is. Oh, cheerleaders. Wow. Thank you, cheerleaders. I'm going to grab this cereal. Oh, he's smoking. He's feeling it. He's feeling the pain from Roger. Knocking some more wheels off. You should quit while, while you know, well, you're not ahead, but you're you're just getting your butt kicked, man. You, you want to maybe take a step back. Oh, his name is Windy Plane. That's a cool name. I'm going to grab this candy. Some flan, maybe. More candy. Ooh, a golden bat. Did I get it? It's still sitting there. And, of course, we got a little more slowdown through the transitions. We got the bat back. The next enemy's waiting for us on the steamship. Yeah, we took care of Windy Plane. What's going on back there? We're in Cisco. Oh, San Francisco. We're on a buggy. We are on... Oh, just taking care of all these guys. Playing some bowling. Oh, our car's gone. Okay, was that supposed to happen or did I do that? Oh, jack-o'-lanterns. What happened to the bridge? Did these jack-o'-lanterns do this? Yeah, this has to be one of the like most requested game I've ever had for this series. And for good reason. It's an excellent game. Look how weird it is. People love this stuff. It's really fun for players. I do like that you can get the four-player ROM and still choose your player. A lot of times when you have the four-player version, you're stuck with... Wait, oh, these are bad guys. I was, I was trying to collect it. What are these gator things? Gator saxophone? I don't know what that is. No, wait, what is... Smoke clouds. Oh no, I'm, I've been enveloped by, oh, helicopter legs. Sorry, I'm just, there's a lot going on with this game. It's easy to get distracted. More balls? Oh, big ball guy. A kick to the face, taking out Roger. He's not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. We can continue. Of course I'm gonna be Roger again. Yeah, that's, this is what, you're gonna, you're not gonna have fun. Oh, that looks rough. Okay, I guess I broke the bridge. I'm just as bad as everyone else. Now we're on a cruise ship. Very cool. I will eat that cereal that I could have used before I died. But hey, no worries. That's how the game is. Infinite quarters, am I right? Just coming out. We have a squid. 
I don't know. I don't know. You can't... If you try and explain this game, I mean, how how could you? And, and an octopus. Now, wait, they were squids, now they're octopus. What is going on? He just hit me with a hammer. Ooh, another buggy. I don't know why I call it a buggy when it's obviously a car. Oh, jeez. Oh, hit the weights. Oh, wow, you got some fun lips. So these are octopus trying to be squids, but they're not. Yep, they're just little octopuses. They're like little, I don't know, little engine gators? Oh, that one's angry. Thought cruises were supposed to be fun. What did I just get? I don't even know what that was. We got a flex. Look at us. We're the beefy one. Oh, here we go. This must be another boss. Mad Lax. Oh, now we're fighting a car. Ooh, I'll take this. Have a base. Have some dynamite. Oh, it's lit in my hand. Get rid of it. Is the dynamite... Oh, I missed him with the dynamite? That sh car is trying to kiss me. No, thank you. Stranger danger. Oh, I just knocked the lips off. Well, that showed you. You don't kiss just anybody, especially not Roger. Oh, we got him. I think we're going to get the gold baseball. We did! We have the gold baseball this time. Look at him floating in the river in the back. That's what you get! Got the golden ball. Look at that car back there. Oh, Roger macking on the chicks. Ooh, a bonus stage. Let's do the bonus stage real quick. What am I doing? Crushing this ball? Oh my gosh. This is so sad. I mean, I know the balls are bad guys, but... Jeez. Wow, that's, uh... That's kind of dark. Kind of dark, Ninja Baseball Batman. So there you go, Ninja Baseball Batman running. Really good on all the many systems. If you want something close to perfect, you want to be playing it on the PlayStation Classic. The hardware is just so much better than the other systems. Thank you again to everybody who requested this game. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Eric Colon. Jordy Alex, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Dor, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, Randy Day, Travis Morton, Rick67, Craig Livesley, Jason Hallbrooks, and Batman.